So the announcement I'm making today is that I intend to sign out a directive again uh, charging the Undersecretary of the Army uh, and the Vice Chief of Staff of the Army uh, to develop what we are calling a Ready and Resiliency Campaign. I should note that uh, some commanders have already seen the value of this, and I would include those right here at JBLM, and already are working hard to provide uh, not just a single training opportunity, but a career and even lifelong opportunity for programs to develop programs, there, there's confusion. <coughs> uh, often uh, commanders and those uh, in charge with uh, delivering care are unaware of certain benefits and programs and opportunities that are available. Other times uh, uh, they're uh, aware of them but aren't sure exactly how they might apply to certain soldiers. And well, it is a, a, a complex challenge, you know, very important. There's a stigma in our society and there clearly is a stigma out there uh, against uh, seeking uh, help for, for uh, any challenges. And one thing we found has worked uh, very well, uh, putting a lot of effort towards this, is embedded behavioral health getting the behavioral health folks, you know, not having them at the hospital, but in the unit. They get to know the soldiers better, the soldiers get to know them, but it helps take away that stigma. The VA has recently put out data as to uh, their alarmingly high suicide rates amongst, uh, amongst veterans. Um, kind of encapsulate, encapsulate the problem on the, on the IDA system, but also you can see some of the progress in how uh, the processing times, including here at JBLM, are going down. We've got a long ways to go, but, but we need to work together.